friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem, bringing you this video today from the very bottom of Binyan Klal. This is the famous, the infamous Klal building, which I did a video with Shimshon Lachinsky in before. We took a tour of this building and Shimshon, who works in the building, pointed out all the various points of interest here, including the famous disused laser printer. But today we're here, I'm back with Shimshon, and we're on a mission. This is the first installation, what's going to be hopefully a few adventures that we're going to be checking out the soup in Jerusalem. As soon as the mercury drops in Jerusalem, it's soup weather and this city does soups really, really well. There's the Alma soup chain and there's also a lot of these little places that when you open your eyes, you find out that they have soup on the menu. Today we are in uh, La Dolce Vita, which is a relatively new business opened here in the bottom of Binyan Klal. It's a fusion uh, venue and the chef is going to explain to us uh, what type of food they do. They have three soups. Shimshon and I are going to be testing two of them today. And we're going to see, I recently had the Borscht in Yolo also located very close by, we're going to see if it can equal that great feed of soup. We're making the, it's a fusion. We, we mixed all the cuisine together. It means that um, the people want to try something new. Not just in Israel or Russian or Georgian, they want to try uh, the different type of food in one place. Guys, let's go into the kitchen. They're doing interesting things. Notice all these cakes, they do them themselves. They're pastry cooks. They have a, a special new... It's all kosher. Mahadrin Rabbanut here. Do you guys like to look into pots? I love it. Come on, let's go and look into the pots. See what they have here. Oh, this is the Georgian uh, rice soup. Should we have a look in there? Do you, what do you think, guys? Are you curious? Wow. You got a spoon? We can mix it around. Okay. Guys, this is a good soup. It's got a lot of vegetables. It's got kuzbara, uh, which is cilantro. It's got tomatoes and it's got a bit of a kick to it. So this is the one I've had a few times. This is the, with the mushrooms. Mushrooms and it's, sour pickles. Yeah. It's a Russian soup? Yeah, it's a Russian. It's a Russian soup. So that's good also. So we've got a lot of action fun. Are the soups uh, popular? Yeah. What other soups are do Russians enjoy besides uh, this one? Borscht. <laughs> borscht. I had borscht in Yolo the other day. It was amazing. Yeah, also I make uh, the French one. It's a cream soup with mushrooms. Is this your first time running a restaurant or do you have previous places? No, I was uh, I worked as a manager in the Sergei Palace uh, <laughs> restaurant. It's a Russian courtyard. So Shimshon and I ordered two of the soups of the day and we sat down to enjoy our warm soups on the bottom floor of one of Jerusalem's most iconic buildings. Now guys, this is the sour pickles mushroom soup. What's it called in Russian? Rasolnik. Rasolnik soup. Now we'll try a bit of this, this and see how it goes. Another amazing soup for a winter's day. Delightful. It's got a bit of sugar in it, I think, yeah? A bit of sugar. Sukha? Yeah. A bit of sugar. Shimshon found the Georgian soup a little bit too spicy for his very Ashkenazic palate. So although I don't usually consider myself a food reviewer, I jumped in to offer a few thoughts on the soup. Daniel, warning, it's very spicy. Can you deal with it? <laughs> it's spicy. Can you handle it? Can you give it a sour cream? No, 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 no. I, I, I love I, everything spicy. Oh, that's fantastic. I definitely would not say it's overly spicy. It's uh, nicely hot. It does have a little bit of a kick to it. It's got rice in the soup as well, which is just amazing on a cold winter's day like this. A lot of people ask me, you know, does Jerusalem get cold? It's like in the Middle East. And the winters here are short, but it definitely does get cold. And as soon as it starts raining, as soon as it gets cold, people come out for soup. It's a really big thing. You won't find it just on this menu. Lots of different places in the city as well have soup. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be exploring it. I have a video coming up in Alma, which is a big soup chain in the city. And I'm going to be checking out potentially today Hamarakia, which is means in English the soupery, to give it a rough translation, uh, which is one of the most well-known soup eating venues in the city. Finally, the venue insisted that we try a rather unusual eggplant dessert. Shimshon has recently found a new lease on life as a volunteer eggplant picker, helping farmers in the south to recover from the economic effects of the war. So I was particularly interested to hear what he had to say about this wheat dish. It's eggplant baladi with um, vegetables inside. And it's, um, as you know, eggplant is a very popular Middle Eastern food. And we'll try this it's with the trina sauce. Now this one is actually not trina, they made it with trina. This is with a yogurt sauce. So we'll try this one. Delicious, got some nuts in it as well, radish, lemon juice, um, they're doing a good job. I personally prefer more egg, more trina and less of this um, sour cream, but it's delicious as well. Not content with simply stuffing his face, Shimshon also decided to offer Yelena some business advice to help her cafe in the bottom of the cloud building flourish and reach new customers. You've got to do a lot more advertising. 
I want you to hand out flyers, I want you to give discounts to everyone in the building, I want you to have a big sign up and I want lots of tables outside so people can see there's action here. So good luck, everyone come and support this business. We're here to support small business in Jerusalem. I'm Yisrael Chai. Be well. Happiness to everyone. If you also like great soup and want Dolce Vita to succeed, visit them on the very bottom level of Binyan Klal of Yafo and Agrippa streets. Have a Jerusalem soup venue you think Shimshon and I need to check out this winter? Drop a recommendation in the comments and I'll try to make it happen. Until the next video, thanks for watching.